it is up to you. Okay, tell me when. Yep. Okay, so right now we're making this postpartum pads. Um, they're all over the internet, they're everywhere. But this was for my sister. She's about to have a baby. So what we need, aloe vera gel, witch hazel, scissors, and lavender. So what we all did, we just got regular witch hazel. Um, we cut, I was trying to do a hole, it ended up more like a slit in the top because I'm trying to control when we go to pour, I'm trying to keep it under control. But another thought, if you don't want to just pour the witch hazel, you can always pour it in the cap and drizzle it to kind of control how much witch hazel comes out. So we're taking our lavender, we poured, we put, I think about four drops in here and we just put it through the little hole. Then we capped it, swished it around, so now we have lavender witch hazel. Uh, and it helps it to be evenly distributed on the pad instead of just doing drops here or there. And we have our aloe vera. So I don't think it really matters the order. I've just been squirting my witch hazel like this. I went up and down, up and down. Then I have my aloe vera gel. And I'm only putting it on the center part, right down the middle. And we decided to squish these together to get it a little bit more evenly distributed. There you go. And we fold and seal. So we didn't take it off of the adhesive when we opened it up. We also didn't take off the paper on the wings because we want it to still stick to our underwear. So we just cut, opened. As a matter of fact, let me do one from scratch so you guys can see the whole process. A regular pad. We opened. We do not take it off of anything. I'm doing this with clean hands. Instead of taking this off, we keep it on and cut down the middle. There's also another set back here, but this is just catching any blood. This is the soothing area, so we're not worried about this back portion. Our witch hazel, and let's try the other method. Instead of squirting, let's put some in the cap. And up and down, a little bit more controlled. I don't know if that's enough. You think more? Mm -hmm. So Karen thinks two caps. Okay, so we'll say two caps if you're not squirting. And jelly. Once again, we smush for even distribution. And fold back up, leaving the wings out because we don't want jelly on the wings, using the original tape. And that's it. So the kind of pad we recommend always extra heavy overnight, the purple kind. The wings are always necessary, it's extra long, it has a great coverage, and you don't feel as um, lumpy as you would feel. I like having these instead of the extra thin ones. I feel like these give the best coverage. There is a purple version in the extra thin always as well though. All right, and Karen's gonna give us the final review of how these work for her. In a couple weeks. 